Okay, hello and welcome to this tutorial video on how to use Audacity to make soundscapes. Uh, this is just going to be a quick overview of some of the important tools and functions in Audacity that you're going to need to have a go at it. Okay, so first of all, um, by this point you should have written your stories and you should have a narrative and an idea of what it is that you're doing. So uh, let's just straight up, if it's open up Audacity, you're going to have a blank thing like this. And what we're going to do is straight away I don't have any tracks or anything in it, so to create a track, the easiest way I've found is just to start recording. Okay, so here it is. You can see now that it's recording all the audio, and then I can start to uh, do my story. And I'll start with the title, The Scary Mountain House. And then I will go on and do the story. Once upon a time, on a scary mountain, there was a house. That's going to be enough for now for the purposes of this video. So what I'm going to do, this is really useful. This, this is my magnifying glass. Zoom in and zoom out. This way I can look at the whole thing that I've got and I zoom in to work on different bits when I need it. Now, uh, let's listen back to this. audio and then I can start to uh, do my story and I'll start with the title the scary mountain house and then I will go on and do the story once upon a time on a scary mountain there was a house okay. that's gonna be enough okay so I'm just working on the levels there now obviously uh, most of the stuff I can't use because it's just me rambling and it's not actually the story so up here you can see there are different controls and the one that uh, the two really that I'm going to use is this one which is the vertical arrow and it comes up you can see it's a selection tool and this one which is my time shift tool that's basically just for moving left and right so straight off the bat let's listen again start recording right okay, I don't so want to hear me saying start recording and okay so so all I do is I click and hold and then I'm going to bring back and I'm going to highlight that bit and I'm going to press delete and that's going to get rid of the stuff here I it is you can see now that's recording all the audio and then I can start to uh, do my story and right so I now know that my story starts here Let's see what's going on and I'll start with the title no it's not the scary mountain house there we go, that's where it starts. So I easily, with this selection tool, I can just highlight the bits I don't want. Let's say there's another bit here that I don't want. And I can just highlight that and go delete. And it gets rid of it. So this is really useful for when you're recording, maybe you get so far into it and then you make a mistake. Well, instead of having to go all the way back to the beginning, just keep recording because afterwards you can go through and you can cut out all the times that you start laughing or say words wrong and I'll show you as well how we can put uh, fix those mistakes and put stuff back in so here we go the scary mountain house and then I will go on and do the story once so upon again, a time great all of this stuff I don't need either take this out and delete now uh, I'm going to zoom in a bit because I've now got less that I was working with Perfect. So let's have a listen again. The scary mountain house. Once upon a time, on a scary mountain, there was a house. That's going to be. And I don't need this bit at the end. There's my story. So this is a very short story. Yours will be significantly longer. But for the purposes of um, working this out and how to do it, this is going to do. So I can take out all the bits I don't want. You can actually see that this line, this whole thing is actually quite quiet. So what I'm going to do, first thing I want to do, because it's my voice isn't being recorded very loud, I can highlight the whole thing. I'm going to go to Effect. And I am going to go to uh, one of the, oh, it should be in Gain. Amplify. That'll do it. So let's just see. Nudge it up. Allow clipping. Okay. So that's obviously too much. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay, good. So that's made the 
lines much bigger. So all I did there to make the whole track louder, go to Effect, Amplify, and then I can drag this around um, and I have a go. And of course, if I don't like it, I can just do Command Z and it'll undo it. But I do like it, so I'm going to do Redo, Amplify, and there we go. So now, actually, I can turn this gain down a little bit. Let's see how it sounds. The scary mountain house. Great. One. Now that I've got my story in, one of the things then is to think about the sound that I can use. Now for this, I'm just going to use my voice, but you can use your voice and various other things that you want to do. So um, I'm going to mute this for now because the first sound effect that I want to have, the first sound in it is some air and wind. So to do this, if I just go to record, it's going to automatically open up a new track for me, and now I can just do a wind sound. And because this whole first bit is me talking, I'm going to get rid of that. Highlight and delete. And again at the end, take this and delete. And I'm going to start with the wind sound, and what I'm going to do is move, go back to my move cursor, and I'm going to move my story forward a bit so it starts at the loudest bit of the wind. And I'm going to unmute it. All mute means is to shut something up. So if I want to just hear something that I've been working on, I can mute the other parts. So now the beginning of my story goes like this. The scary mountain house. Once upon Great. Uh, so I've got this and let's do another little trick. I'm actually going to have this as an ongoing theme, so I'm going to cut out a little bit at the end here. And what I'm going to do is highlight this track, go to the end, highlight it, and then I can go edit, copy, or you can see this is a Mac, so Command C. And if I press the right arrow key, it's going to jump automatically right to the end of there. And then I can go Edit, Paste, or Command V is the shortcut. And there it comes. And I'm just going to move, go to my Move tool, and I'm going to move it along to the end. So now I've got a nice sound effect at the beginning and end of my piece. So with a little bit of planning, I can decide some of the different things that I want. And what I'm going to have after the introduction in this gap here, I want to have a kind of eagle or an owl sound. So all I do, hit record again. There was a house. Oh, okay. So it started recording halfway through, so I'm just going to do Command and Z. That's going to undo that. And I'm going to go back to the beginning. So it's because that was highlighted that it started recording there. Uh, I'm going to mute these because I don't want them to come into the track because I know the sound effect that I want and I press back to the beginning, press record again and then I can just do my eagle sound I don't know, something like that, let's see which any of those sound any good so I'm going to stop there, straight away I know that I don't want any of this because that's me talking, let's see what my eagle sounds like that's rubbish, that's better, that's like a crow, okay, well it's a crow, not an eagle. So I'm going to take out this stuff at the beginning, and every time I delete, it's going to move it right back to the beginning, and all I need to do, remember, is go to my move icon, and I can now move this into where I want it to go. So, I've now got three tracks. I've got my story, I've got my wind effect here, and I've got my ca -ca -ca -ca, but it's not, it does sounds too much like me at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is, well, let's have a listen, see how it works in the context. Yeah, nice crow sound. So unmute these, and let's listen to my story from the beginning. The scary mountain house. Once upon a time. Cool. Uh, so one of the things is that I actually think that I want to move this forward a little bit. So, what I want to do is I want to try to split the track here. See if I can do this. See so what I might do is just highlight this little bit, delete, and that's given me a second section. And I'm going to move this further along. Oh, that's not letting me do it. 
Hmm. Or do this. Uh -huh. I'm going to highlight this. This is another. Just trying to think of a solution to this because I want to have a bigger gap there. If I copy this and I can paste it at the end there, and then because this is all one track, highlight this and then I can delete it, go to my move track, and then I can just move this to wherever I want because I actually want the, the crow to have a little more thing. So this just allows me to align the, the story where I want around my effects and maybe I'll move this one a little further as well so that it ends with my sound okay now that's basically the the key things that you're gonna need the selection icon copying and pasting and then the moving icon as well which lets you move tracks back and forth so you don't have to worry when you're recording to get it right first time. A lot of the work will come through in the editing. So the last thing I want to show you then is effect. So if I take my caw -caw, I want to make it sound more atmospheric, right, for my soundscape. So I'm going to go up to effects. And here's where we can have a bit of fun because this is really just trial and error. I have no idea what is going to happen. But... Uh, first thing is maybe it's quite high maybe I can make it sound more interesting if it's a bit lower so I'm gonna go to change pitch it says it's at a whatever seven so if I click that down to six I mean oh, I can just drag this around and have a go now this is cool because I can get to preview it so if I press preview oh, oh. oh cool right so try the error. I could also drag this all the way up and press preview They're both quite interesting. Let's see, have a bit of fun. Let's see what happens if I go all the way down to the bottom. Well, that's just made something crazy. But again, that could be useful at another part of the story. In fact, okay, I'm going to do that to the, again. But I think it was about here, which was quite good. I'll take that. It's a nice little crow. Good. I'm going to do press OK. And now it's going to put that in. But I'm not done yet. Uh, actually, because that low sound is quite interesting, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to go effects, change the pitch, and I'm going to do that thing that we did with a really low sound down here. As just another sound effect that's going to come in later on. In fact, I'm going to go even lower. Change the pitch. Go on. So it's going to give me this really low rumbly sound there. Okay, back to my crow. Another effect that I think I'm going to put on it is I want to make it sound more roomy, like um, a bit more like it's in a sort of on a hillside or something like that. So I'm going to try. Let's try out some reverb. So it's got a load of stuff on it. Let's just preview. Well, that's the actually the effect is good, but the pitch is weird. So I'm going to apply that, and I'm going to go back to my change the pitch. Uh, great, but I, that's a bit low. So let's try this. Yeah. Okay. Maybe a little up. So again, with these effects, guys, it's all just trial and error. Great, that'll do it. Okay, good. And let's have a listen to my whole thing. So all I'm doing is I can go to effects here and I can change the speed of it. I can change, uh, like add echo to it. I can invert it. I can reverse it here. That's a really interesting one. All I really want to do with these is just try them out because I'm using my voice. So I want to try and make my voice sound many different ways as I can. And the effects are really useful for that. And it's just adding in more tracks and moving different sounds around. So here's the finished product. The Scary Mountain House. <coughs> Once upon a time, on a scary mountain, there was a house. So this starts to, there's too big a gap here. So if I go back to my this tool, and then I can drag this forward a bit. We couldn't actually hear this low sound at all. Um, so I would go back in and have a little 
play with that. But hopefully, guys, that gives you an overview of some of the tricks that we need. Remember your selections icons, copying and pasting. You can add new tracks in from here as well, and then adding in effects and seeing how crazy you can make the sounds to fit with your story. All right, folks, good luck.